insert interceptor into receiver with mounting bracket facing up and secure with receiver pin. Hold push frame against interceptor and select a 4 bolt hole pattern that positions the push frame 8 to 10 inches above grade. Then secure with hex bolts, flat washers, and nuts. Level push frame horizontally and vertically. Then torque the four nuts to 90 foot pounds. Slide rubber cutting edge into blade mounting channel and center. Connect tongue and groove joint of upper and lower blade and center. Align middle holes on slide hinge with factory marks on back of blade. Slide square nuts with flat side facing up in top and bottom blade channels and align with slide hinge holes. Then turn hex bolts with flat washers into nuts and blade. Next, use wrench to tighten bolts in upper section first, then in lower section. Repeat process for opposite slide hinge. When both slide hinges are properly aligned, they should measure 22 and a half inches apart. Then use slide hinges as template to drill holes through first layer of aluminum at each factory marked location. At tongue and groove joint, drill hole through first layer of aluminum at factory mark and groove on each end of blade. Turn self-threading flange bolts into each drilled hole and tighten. Torque all bolts to 31 foot-pounds. Ensure rubber cutting edge is still centered on blade. Next drill holes at factory mark in groove on each end of blade, going only through first layer of aluminum and into rubber. Turn self-threading flange bolts into holes and tighten. Hang blade on push frame, one end at a time, then secure with quick pins. Insert square nuts with flat side up into top channel. Turn hex jam nut with flange facing down onto thread base of blade marker and align with hole on handle. Bolt blade marker and handle to blade using square nut and channel. Turn hex bolt through other handle hole into nut and channel. Handle should be flush with blade edge. Tighten both bolts on handle. Repeat for blade marker at other end. Next, attach rubber box end and metal end plate with hex bolts. Then tighten all bolts until rubber begins to compress to blade. Insert hex bolt to tighten bottom of rubber to bottom of end plate. Secure with washer and nylock flange hex nut. Tighten all bolts equally. Repeat box end assembly at opposite end. To determine position of set collar, select hole in interceptor shaft, which places plow closest to vehicle while allowing blade to angle. Then push set collar tight against receiver. Tighten set screw with hex key.